What's going on guys, Unknown Player here. In this video, we've got a lot of really cool stuff to talk about, which all revolve around some secrets in the Felden to Peak social space, including one of the coolest Easter eggs I've seen in Destiny, a new mystery vendor, and also some more info about what to expect from Iron Banner when it rolls around. So firstly, let's take a look at this really cool Easter egg or secret. So whenever you defeat Axis, the final boss in the Wrath of the Machine raid, you're gonna get this drop called an Ice and Fire token. So you go and take this to the main fire pit in the middle of Fell into Peak, and you'll ignite a special fire, which when you jump on it will fly you over to this top bit on this massive tower. So there's actually a dormant Siva cluster lying over here. And previously, the only way we thought we could get there was by catching a ride literally from a fallen ship and jumping over in the mission. I showed it in my complete guide for all 30 Siva clusters, which will be linked in the description if you want to find them. But I guess this is the actual intended way that Bungie wanted us to find this cluster. Not sure if they meant for us to actually ride a ship, but there you go. Those are two ways to get on top of the tower and find the cluster. So it doesn't stop there. Unlike the mission where there's actually an invisible barrier stopping you from going any further, in the social space, you can run off the other side and complete go explore the entire mountain as in the entire whole first mission you can go anywhere you want in the enormous area it's actually massive it's crazy how much you can explore here but you can literally go into your heart's content all the way to the mountain as far as the gondola drops you off but before you do that you can be a nice person if you want and go open the iron temple doors so everyone else in the social space can go explore as well just hold the square or x button on the door you can open it for everyone else which is really nice they did this because not everyone can actually beat the raid or the final boss or even gets into the raid so i love that actually done it so you can actually open the door for everyone else and absolutely anyone who loads into your social space will be able to go explore with you which is really cool and of course you spend a token every time you do it i believe you get three tokens a week from each of your three characters but there you go that is how you can do it and i'm absolutely blown away the fact that you can do this really cool easter egg and if you have the jumping puzzle this is definitely my favorite social space by a mile it's such a cool area i think it's so well polished and bungie did a really good job on this space so there you go a really cool thing you can do if you've beaten the raid or if you get lucky and someone's opened the door for you now let's move on to the next thing I want to talk about which is a new mystery vendor that will be appearing in Fell into Peak very soon and momentarily and her name is actually Lady Ephrodi. Now I've said in a few videos before that Lord Saladin is no longer going to be handling the Iron Banner, he is now a permanent vendor in Fell into Peak. A pretty pointless vendor if you ask me, literally just setting emblems and shaders and the odd quest here and there. But Lord Saladin is not going to be moving from that spot and Iron Banner is now going to be ran by Ephrodi who is sort of an Iron Lord. Her backstory hasn't been fully explained yet. She used to kind of be an Iron Lord and she left for some reason to go fight some other battles and that's why she doesn't have a statue in the mausoleum because she isn't actually dead like the other Iron Lords are. She left either before or after the Iron Lords all died and now she's come back wanting to help Saladin and essentially ask the Guardians by running Iron Banner. So her face is a mystery, she wears some kind of like variant of the Hunter Iron Lord armor. Looks a bit like a luchador wrestler if you ask me, but she is going to be the new one handing out the Iron Banner bounties, the weapons, the armor, and everything else that comes with Iron Banner. Now where she's going to be located is a mystery, but seeing the spot outside the doors of Fair Winter Peak does make it look like she will be on one of these platforms. It definitely looks like she will be stationed here, especially the walls being there as well. I do believe Bungie said at one point that Iron Banner will be ran in the secret area of Fair Winter Peak. They could have changed their minds, it might still be ran from the back area of the tower, so it's still currently unknown where she'll be stationed. I think it's most likely she will be around here somewhere. Now we can actually see some of the Iron Banner stock including the bounties on Bungie.net, the armory. We can see what the requirements are and what they reward. So as we know the bounties have been revamped in addition to a load of other Iron Banner changes. You can see the four bounties on screen right now. They all require 100 points for doing things like matches, kills, ability kills and weapon types. And note they're all brown weekly bounties so you get one of these for the whole Iron Banner and all four of them will reward 750 Iron Banner rep, 5000 experience, 25 legendary marks and two of them give a guaranteed legendary iron banner armor piece and two of them give a guaranteed legendary iron banner weapon. We also know that these legendary items are guaranteed to not be what is currently on offer from the iron banner so expect these bounties to be dropping some really cool stuff that hasn't been sold yet and hasn't been seen and won't be sold for months. Now these bounties of course do replace the rank 3 and 5 packages which we use this anyway to be honest so the 4 bounties are how you get your loot and I'm assuming there will also be daily bounties on top of that and of course you get your loot drops at the end of games as well so Iron Banner as always will be an amazing way to rank up and get a bunch of gear. Now onto some other facts we know about Iron Banner so far. The first ever one will be the game mode supremacy so get ready for a bunch of shotgun warriors also the tempered buff doesn't exist anymore so you get given rep all the time and it's all even as opposed to a tiny bit at the start and a massive bit at the end is all going to be evenly distributed throughout the days you also don't have to wear your emblem class item or those really ugly shaders anymore that 30 percent extra rep buff you can look how you want which is cool 
We also don't know when the first one is going to be. It's always at one every month. So obviously they gave September a miss. But I'd say it's probably going to be mid-October the first one. And of course, stay tuned to my channel. I'll be sure to make videos and keep you guys up to date when we do find out the first date of Iron Banner and what's going to be up for grabs. So there we have it. A bunch of new info about Iron Banner and the Fell and Topeak Social Space Secret. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating would be much appreciated. Of course, subscribe for a bunch more Rise of Iron videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.